childhood August baby, the artist Andy Warhol was unsurprisingly a Leo, and he was quite the perfume connoisseur. There's a sampling of some of his perfume bottles. In his memoir, he wrote, I'm just gonna read this to you. I really love wearing perfume. I switch perfumes all the time. If I've been wearing one perfume for three months, I force myself to give it up even if I still feel like wearing it. So whenever I smell it again, it will always remind me of those three months. I never go back to wearing it again. It becomes part of my permanent smell collection. What perfumes did he wear? So many. In fact, the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh has many of the perfumes from his collection in their archives. Some highlights include Chanel No. 5, of course, Estee Lauder Youth Do, Milan Abbey Rouge, and Perfume Talk will either love this or hate this, but Yves Saint Laurent Opium. All of them are ambery with some florals or spices, because he definitely had a type. Now, before he became a big time artist, he also did commercial art for brands, including his beloved Chanel. I found these sketches in the online archives of the Andy Warhol Museum. This one is by far my favorite though. But perhaps the most iconic perfume that is associated with Andy Warhol is the one he was buried with. Yes, at his funeral in 1987, Paige Powell, his friend and publisher of Interview Magazine, threw into his coffin a copy of Interview and a bottle of Estee Lauder Beautiful. It could smell fresh and young for all eternity. Now, apparently he hadn't actually tried this perfume yet, but it was on his list to try it. And he had actually packed Estee Lauder's youth do in his hospital bag before the surgery that ultimately killed him. My 15 minutes of fame, if I got to hang out with Andy Warhol and the Velvet Underground in the factory, I would have absolutely given him my Frida perfume. That's that 1940s amber situation that was going on that was all the rage, but also both masculine and feminine elements, including leather, orchid, and bourbon. If you were alive today, what perfumes would you suggest to Andy Warhol? Let me know in the comments. You can find more perfume histories on my page.